Oh, is it recording? Yeah, sorry. I've been recording for the last like six minutes, seven, eight or eight minutes. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, you just didn't send me fucking. Oh my. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I see you never worked in television production. All right. Three. Nope. Two. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka That Villain Jay, uh, here coming at you live from Early Access Central. You're only hearing my voice right now. You may only be hearing my voice right now. That's because I'm a spooky ghost. But actually, we are streaming. We are co-streaming right now uh, on Numbskull's channel. And we both, both the Black Council members got Early Access this season. We wanted to give you the first impressions and as i always say with me as always is my co-host the numbest of skulls mr numb skull what's up guys and uh we're here co-streaming right now we are we're kind of trying to do a kind of we only have 24 hours with early access we're kind of squeeze something out where we can give you our first impression what are the banger cards what to look for um we're going to try to play some games we're going to look at some decks we're just going to do an overall look at what's going on with march of the machine early access here with the black council uh because listen if we want to get you inside access if we're going to get inside access we're going to make sure the council members everybody has it you know as soon as possible so that's what we're going to run right now um it's been crazy it's been a crazy day i've been streaming on youtube i'm going to be streaming on twitch um numbskulls i know is going live on twitch we're going to be we're going to be getting as much as we can out of this uh, early access opportunities we can because it's been really fun and mm -hmm. uh, can I just say, for first off, maybe I'll, I'll jump to you, Numbskull, but my first impression is power levels are up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. It's like uh, these, some of these cards are making the other cards look boring. You know? Um, it's like when I'm, when I'm playing against other people, I am legitimately bored if, I, if they're not playing new cards. And, like... I'm bored myself if I don't draw the new cards that I put into the deck with some of the old cards, maybe. Maybe I just have like a high expectation for it, but these cards seem to be so good that and so powerful that it's like you you want them. And, and I've I've come across so far, and I mean, I've been at this for almost four hours now with the early access. We're we're doing this live on my Twitch as you guys hear this. Um it was recorded live on, on my yeah. Twitch channel. Um I've, I've played for like three to four hours here, give or take. Uh, played three different decks, and uh, I mean, there are people who are just using the new cards, and they're they're having a good deck. Still. They're only using cards from from mom. Oh yeah, and their deck is still good. That's how yeah. good all the cards are. You know what I mean? Um, like like yeah, incubate, I, incubate I, with I like Sharknado. Say... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, the draft scene is going to be crazy because the draft power is going to be out of control. If you get some of these bangers, um, really, really, really big combo plays you can pull off with this. Uh, I, it's very exciting. I'm I'm really stoked for this. I would have to say it's probably one of the more interesting ones. Probably eking out Phyrexia maybe by a couple of points. Yeah. I think it really outdoes Brothers War. I think that kind of blows brothers war out of the water in my opinion Agreed. um if we're talking about the last couple of ones um i don't know i mean what what has been your take so far what is the new mechanics yeah i mean uh i think incubate is going to be good incubate with um the sharknado was really good new sharknado card um it's like a i think they yeah. play like an esper incubate kind of thing going on there um or no it was like mm -hmm. No, it was like just Sky, I think, because they were copying the Sharknado with Fable, but then they casted that new spell that exiled all the creatures, and they had three Sharknados out at once, so they got three Incubate Fives off that one card. Um, and then there were no creatures. It's kind of like the White Sun's Twilight, Damn. where you, you know, exile the whole board and then make a bunch of mites and then swing for lethal the next turn similar concept so you, yeah i think we're people are tweaking how to make incubate broken but i think it's gonna be broken because it's gonna demand artifact removal and not 
every deck can do that, you know? Yeah, because they're artifact creatures. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the that's the weird thing. And try to pop them out um, before they pop out of their weird incubation pods. Yeah, and and when they're when they're incubating, they're just regular artifact. So your creature removal spells don't do shit, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but yeah, so that's fun. Um, I think mono red, mono red is can go mid rangey now, so that's something to look out for. And I think that the battles are adding a, a nice element to the deck. And I think that the game rewards you for using a battle. And I think that it's going to get to a point where your deck isn't properly bolstered, if you will, if you also are not using a battle in some way. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's saying. Yeah. Someone's saying. Brotherhood I, I Den's going to be that, legit. I have. That's I have. An, I have an interesting take on battles. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about this second, but first I want to thank. We jumped right into it. We're so excited. I want to thank our patrons. Oh yeah. My bad. Yeah. Let's 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 shout out our patrons um, real quick. Yeah, guys. This is the Black Council. We are so stoked. We are so hyped right now for um, uh, uh, March of the Machines that we're just ignoring all of our regular housekeeping stuff. I forgot to mention that Numskull is number 52 mythic rank right now. I forgot to tell you guys that. Um, I wish, dude. I'm, I am I think I was and, like 300, uh, so though. So that's, that's our tradition. Oh, there you go. Yeah, where yeah. fiction meets reality. <laughs> so um, everyone who uh, is a patron gets access to our Patreon Discord. You also get the uh, early access to these videos. You get your own early access. You're going to see our our takes and our early access sooner than everyone else. So you might have been able to theory craft a little sooner hearing our, our shakedown breakdown of what we got going on. Um, and we'd love you to join at patreon.com slash black council. Uh, our links are over in the chat, in the description, and in the comments below. Check us there. We also have merch for sale. We'd love you to come by and buy some cool merch for us. Uh, this all supports all basically all the money we made from Patreon last month all basically me and numbskull we turn around and hit our paypal we just bought cards with it so we're putting it right back into the show we're putting it right back into what we do here uh because we want to make good content we want to get everyone involved and we want to build a community so that's the goal mm -hmm. of our um patreon that's the goal of the black council join us today we have none other than mother of steel uh w taylor szechuan anon uh king leo aka the clash live action rpg Lars Van Breens, Xylo Beast, Jamel Zilla, Stumpha, Trexodactyl, Magic Studios, Lord Gypticus, the Flipticus, uh, Mamoulian, Ghastly, Cassius, <laughs> Nickel Mutz, H Man, War Minds, Greg the Alien, Wouter Loderman, uh, Ulfir. Let's see, who else do we have? Um, Dante, oh, I said Ulfir, Dante Valentine, the cleverest of sounds, Blood Chief, and of course, Mr. Paradabo himself. Not one Dabo, but a whole pair. Uh, that is our current Patreons. If you want to be a part of that, come on by, click the links. Um, we are going to be streaming on stream and um, Numbskull stream, so you obviously see his uh, his links right there. And all those places, all those links will be in the description everywhere like that. We are supported by our Patreons. Become part of the council today. We hit 20 council members, which means that we are organizing right now our um, our tournament, our Black Council tournament. And um, that is going to be coming up. We wanted to kind of wait till Mom came out because we we're so close to March of the Machine come out and people kind of wanted to play with the new cards a little bit. So that will be going on. There's still a chance to get in because it hasn't happened yet. Uh, and we'll have to think of something for you guys for a 30 patron goal. Uh, whatever you guys want, we'll put it up there. Yeah, and Jay, how uh, how much or how little can they become a patron for? You could do as much as you want. You could do $10 an episode. That's a lot. But you could do as little as a dollar a month. That's it. If you want to do a dollar an episode, 99 cents an episode, that's fine too. That's that's fine, yeah, but I mean, as little as a dollar a month to join the to join us, get access to the Patreon, early access to episode. It's uh, it's very easy. You just go to the link and you sign up and become part of the Black Council today. Beautiful. 
Well, uh, thank you guys for being our, you know, patronizing so, the podcast. That's super clutch. Um, we're happy that all you guys stuck around that far, that long, you know, really dope. Um, but yeah, I think Jay and I today, we're going to be. Oh, absolutely. Playing some games today uh, against one another with the new cards. And we're going to kind of each uh, try to record as much as we can of the gameplay and mash up the video accordingly. And uh, yeah, it, it's going to be just kind of us talking about it while we play, but also just kind of like us trying the new cards going against one another via direct challenge. And uh, yeah, that'll kind of be the episode today. It might be a little bit shorter, um, but yeah, we're going to be showing you the new cards. So you will be able to see some gameplay footage of that. Absolutely. And like I said about um, invasions, I want to talk about invasions because I want to cover a couple of the mechanics. You liked Incubate. You thought Incubate was pretty decent. Mm -hmm. um, I liked Incubate too. I, it was actually more useful than I thought it would be. Um, but so far, I am semi on invasions i feel like that they're going to be the most useful in any deck that can do direct damage because relying on creatures to get over them like i feel like invasions favor trample and burn like yeah if you're running an all night and you're, and you're focused on invasions you've got to go you've got to go the hard way you got to go on your ground game and i i feel like that's really tricky to get off especially with people uh people to throw removal down board wipes just throw garbage in the way of you you know you even have stuff like um what's that one sudden reinforcements the one that creates two one one tokens or creates a one one creature and a one one token like there's oh, so yeah. many ways to stifle a ground attack i feel like going on the ground against an invasion is just so tricky that that mm -hmm. direct burn mm -hmm. is just like essential or or hitting a really hard trample i don't know i'm not convinced on it yet that it's worth the card mm -hmm. spot yeah i think well I, I think that what ends up happening is that you know i mean the, the decks we play you don't use too much burn i think what it is is it's rewarding it's a way to reward the decks that do use trample and burn and direct damage or flyers whatever some type of evasion or direct hit is rewarding that it's helping make mono green, mono red, gruel a little more relevant. Um, kind of even the playing field a little bit, I, I guess. Is feels like the decks that I play against that today that have used battles were like, you know, mono the mono red decks that use battles and invasions were real. They were they seem to be the most effective, in my opinion. They definitely killed me faster than anything. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's, I think that's where it's going to be at. And, and I think that, you know, maybe like, you know, guys like us, we get punished a little bit because we're not, we're not doing damage to the battles. Um, so I don't know, maybe it's going to force us to approach things differently and we'll have to adapt. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's, that's an interesting, it's, it's an interesting way to shift the power balance in the game because if you're talking about I'm trying to run a mono white or a mono black, you just don't have the advantage uh, that some other colors are going to be running to do the damage mm -hmm. you want to. To if you're throwing down invasions to flip them, I mean the front side you're always going to get the front side of the invasion. You might not sure. get the back side, but the back side's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Well, uh... and um. I've also found backup to be very expensive to, to be useful. You liked backup? Okay. I actually didn't get to try it. Um, I was having so yeah. much fun with, with, with Ayara. I think and, that the trick with backup. And other shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't tried um, Ayara yet, but I, the trick with backup, I think, is going to be to if, kind of pull off an ephemerate effect to, to, to try to flash things in and out or repeat them because it only hits one time it's only an otb effect so you have got yeah. to think about the old elish norm that does the double otb effect uh, oh yeah OTB yeah effect rather um uh if you could kind of flash things in and out um 
any kind of effect that's going to really multiply that and get the most value out of it or even sacrifice and rebirth it you know bring it back mm -hmm. to the battlefield stuff like that i think that's all that's backup's going to be really useful especially that angel i mean giving someone plus one flying and lifelink all in one hit is is pretty effective um for sure for so sure. yeah i've 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 thought it's useful i think that there's probably probably a jankier way to do it mm -hmm. was that uh was that your favorite thing that you did so far then was backup or did you have a or just maybe not like a like a like a mechanic just like a favorite type of interaction in general with these new cards i like thank you man yeah okay okay i like flinging yeah, shit with I mean, iara i thought that especially... was especially i'm telling you it's it's, it's, it's what is what exactly were you doing with iara let's take a look at your iara deck actually you know what you want to see let's it yeah i mean my, my, my stream's up i'm recording this. it let's uh let's get yeah into so. the nitty gritty yeah yeah we'll do a, we'll do a quick little I, I guess jay and i maybe we'll play against one another with like two different decks Maybe if you know what I mean, we could we could do it that way. Yeah, and, uh, I can do we'll just like like a quick you know this is the best of one here. So this is um, the idea is that obviously we have the Ayara. We're gonna be discarding stuff with Fable, um, either to find more stuff or or to reanimate it with the flip side of Ayara. Um, but also we have these guys here, these you know these super high spells, high cost spells, but that are prototype and the regular high cost um we may cast them for the the prototype but then when someone goes to remove them we have the undying mallet so we're gonna basically like 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 uh ephemerate these guys you know what i mean um and we're gonna bring them back onto the battlefield and then let's just say Dark ayara ephemerate. happens to be out what do you say Dark ephemerate evil oh ephemerate. yeah yeah, yeah, mono, Black, yeah, basically, man. yeah, malicious ephemerate, if you will. Um, so you you ephemerate the skitter beam, <laughs> you <laughs> you ephemerate the the gorger, and then Ayara's out. Ayara can instant speed tap, sack whatever, no mana involved, just tap it, and we're going seven to face, we're going nine to face, four to face, five to face. I was saying in stream earlier, somewhere between four and nine damage, I'm smacking you for it. Now, the cool thing about it is these higher ones, neither of them are legendary. So I'm, I can also copy with Fable and then sack the high sack the, the, the token that is still holds the man, the, the higher mana value. It's I can really good sack that sack that before end of turn. You know what I mean? And then get like maximum value out of it. Um, equally, the one game you go back and watch the VOD for tonight. That's how I actually beat Power Dragon. I had the flip side of Ayara. I reanimated the other side of Ayara that I had ditched with Fable. And then I used the haste on that to sack the Gorger for lethal. And then we're also making a little bit of Power nice. Stones here. Yeah, and we're making a little bit of Power Stones, a little bit of treasure. And we're using the Power Stones to pay... the part of that transform cost make it not so expensive because you can and this is remember what i was telling you about you can use power stones to do these transform things that's kind of that's a good bit of what i've been playing with i've been playing with the transform stuff um so for, for the most part tonight and obviously you know i flipped the shoulder uh thing because that's you know i mean you, that's 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 unreal oh yeah so you know, I, 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 we, we flipped shoulder and then the, the last turn we uh, we got to phase three, reanimated all the creatures. He flips back over and then I top deck the other shoulder. <laughs> and it was ridiculous. So, yeah, I mean, so this deck has has a few nice. different win cons. I think it's I, I think it's a pretty solid deck. It might take some tweaking, but it, it was doing pretty well in the early access. So, um, you know, and not to mention, you know, when you flip that Ayara, Let's say someone's like countering your spells. You're like, man, you know what? I don't care. As you transform the IR, you just start reanimating all of them anyway. You know, so it's been, yeah, it, it's been, it's, it was pretty legit. It was really fun to play. You get access to a braid. That's kind of helps you deal with everything too. You'd have all the answers. So. Really fun deck. 
Yeah. Well, I see, I see that uh, in chat. Somebody made a good point. Uh, Mitch Cool, I'll call him out. Mitch Cool, Mitch Cool, twenty two. Mitch Cool, yeah. Brotherhood's end. Uh, being able to crack mm-hmm. out a bunch of, uh, being able to crack out a bunch of artifacts is wow. The power level of that went up for Incubate, for mm-hmm. Power Stones, for I mean, just being able to board wipe artifacts. I think is that's a that's a card to keep the eye on. Yeah, totally agree. Um, I know we don't have your screen up, Jay, but do you want to? like go over some of the um uh some of the cards you were using sure, in the deck that you plan to play tonight i am going to try a orzov incubate so let me pull up mm. my okay is that why uh right. Dipticus came um, into my stream and said that so he wanted this to, is to do almost that entirely What was that? I, I didn't hear. Um, Gypticus came into my stream in the beginning and was like, I want to do Orzhov Incubate. I, he must have seen you doing it, uh, playing it earlier. Oh, yeah. Well, I played like I played like nine decks earlier today. I played like a different Oh, did you? Time. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I played a dragon deck. I, play, I played everything. Um, so this is almost entirely new. When we were talking about uh, certain things being new and just going completely new on it. This is almost, almost entirely new stuff. Uh, it is an Orzov, and it is about incubation and uh, creature loss, life loss, a little bit of life loss in there, and just overwhelming force. Hell yeah. Um, one of the things we're going to start with, uh, really interesting card, Surge of Salvation, a white instant. You and permanent you control gain hexproof until the end of the turn. Prevent all damage that black or red sources would deal to creatures you control this turn. Devastating card to be able to play, um, especially against black or red decks. But basically, giving all the creatures hexproof for one white mana. I mean, yeah, that's a good card to have in your um, to have in your uh, arsenal. Uh, aside from other ones, everything pretty much is about the new cards: uh, Icor Drinker, Norn's Inquisitor. Um, Phyrexian Sensor is really good because this is an entire Phyrexian uh, deck and each player can't cast more than one non-Phyrexian spell each turn and non-Phyrexian creatures enter the battlefield tap. Uh, so there's a little bit of a control aspect there. We have the new Elish Norn. We have Sculpted Perfection, which gives Phyrexians plus one, plus one. And this new card called Progenitor Exarch, which people were whipping my ass with all day. And that's when I finally <laughs> said, hey, I got to do my own thing with Progenitor XR. Um, basically, that's a, a incubate X three X times. So you pay X twice mm-hmm. uh, and you incubate three X times. And that can immediately transform an incubator token uh, without even paying its cost by just tapping it. So it is the master incubator, as it were. <laughs> We also have Grafted Butcher in here, so other Phyrexians get plus one. So not only do we get Grafted Butcher, which gives everything Menace and plus one, we also yeah. have the Sculptor Perfection, which gives um, which gives Phyrexians plus one as well. We have plenty of things to sacrifice for uh, Elish Norn to flip. She incubates five times, then transform all incubator tokens. So even if we have some unincubated ones, then everybody gets plus one at Double Strike, which basically is an instant kill if you don't have enough blockers. Then destroy all other permanents except for lands, Phyrexians, and uh, Argent artifacts. Then she flips That's back beautiful. into Elish Norn, which is amazing there. Um, to counter the kind of the gain and drain effect that we're going to have, give us some staying power, we threw Ellis Core in there for a little bit of gain and drain. Uh, if they if we have a full board and they try to want to wipe, I've won a few games by somebody just saying, well, screw it, I'm just going to and not paying attention and accidentally mm-hmm. killing themselves with Ellis Core. I actually beat Strider Stone earlier before by him board wiping me and not realizing Alice Cool was going to kill him. Oh, nice. Okay. That's what's up. Yeah. So that's what we got going on. It's it probably needs a little bit of work. It's I've only probably only played three or four games with it, but okay. hey, you know it's new. It's something. Yeah, it sounds fun. Um, I think right the last game I played. Uh, right before I brought you on, I think I actually played against like a, like a type of Orzhov Incubate, and it absolutely trounced. Me. So yeah, that's gonna be good. 
Um, so yeah, I'm excited for these games. Um, do I? I guess we have to. I gotta find. Well, I we gotta find our. Uh, yeah, I sent you IDs my number. Here. And oh, you did? Okay. Sweet. Yeah, I was gonna. I was, I was about to start typing my regular one, and I was like, wait, we have like the, the, the VIP or whatever. You know what I mean? And we have to like do the challenge that way. So the I guess VIP. we'll just do standard. Um. Rec challenge. Oh, I have to send you mine also because we have to like do the direct challenge. We have to both type it in if that makes sense. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Wait, can I add you as a friend? Is that a thing? You want to be my first friend, dude? Yeah, I think you could probably <laughs> add as man, dude. Right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Let's see. It says successfully sent. Oh, let me add you. You're our. No, I was nervous because they didn't send you the link earlier before. I'm glad you finally got it. Yeah, I had to email him again. You know what it is? There's another numskull that is a creator. They don't have the underscores. That's right. A, um, MTG creator as well. Yeah. So it, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh huh. Does it let? Oh, here we go. I got a request from you. Okay. Yeah, All I think right, I just added. Let's see if we can do. Can delete that one. Okay, now we can just do like a straight. All up. right, excellent. Um, like just challenge one another to standard, I guess. Yeah, just challenge. Back. <laughs> I think I, I. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I sent you one. I don't know if it's gonna. <laughs> Hey, if I can make poop fart show up on your screen, I'm going to do it. You did. <laughs> you made, hold on. Let me do this again. Uh, all right. Is it? Wait, what does he say? I see the best of one game. Oh, d hang on. Go out of it. I think I just ended it. I think I, think I messed it. I'm on. There we go. Wow. All right. Oh, except. Okay. Hey, okay. Play. All right. I'm going to be playing uh, the Rakdos deck that we talked about. And I guess Jay's going to do the Orzhov, uh, the Orzhov thing. Incubate. Yeah, Orzhov Incubate. Oh, I'm going to. I, I probably I'll shut my screen here so I don't look at yours. Okay. <laughs> Not that I did that. <laughs> okay. Yep, there he is. I think that the butcher. I think he's got it. He's just too much. Okay. Sure. Hmm. I think this is the first time that we've actually had a fight in a while. Uh -oh. Yeah, I think so too. The 
Gorgeousy. There's the gorgeous. AKA right. Gorgeous mm. George. <laughs> I'm getting screwed on mana. I can see that. Yeah, it, it's not fun. <clears throat> Ooh, that's 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 a nice little thing right there. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty legit. Yeah, that gets that gets out of control. You see how it gets out of control real quick? Yeah. Yeah, that, that happened. Life comes at you fast. Uh, okay. Life comes at you fast. <laughs> Looking like I need Brotherhood's End in this deck. <laughs> Even though I don't want to blow up my own artifact, but still. There oh no, not the shale Drissy. I finally played a Sacrifice. new card. Sacrifice. <laughs> non hmm. Okay. Skitter bones. That trying to hit me with that incubusy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no! All right. <laughs> oh no! That she's gone. Shit. Oh, All not right. the inky bussy, man. <laughs> inky bussy, dude. How do I... <laughs> that still has me dead as fuck, doesn't it? I don't... Yeah, I don't... I don't think there's a solution. Wait, no, there is. Jesus. What a card, man. You got a wipe? Nah, just, just one more sh good old Sacrifice. soldier. Incubussy. They're, they're loving Incubussy in the chat right now. Oh, yeah. We're going to hit you with that. We're going to put that hot Incubussy on you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this, oh, you gave him oh. menace too. I can't even block. Yeah, dude, that oh, that deck no. is sick. That deck is yeah, sick. I'm telling you, man, it it gets out of control very quickly. the The biggest thing about it is that when you transform the Incubusy token, they don't have summoning thickness because they were already out, and they just come out of nowhere, you know. They don't have summoning sickness. No, they're ready to go. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, that is the biggest thing about it. I'm gonna, I'm running it back. Yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't draw Ayara or yeah, an Undying Malice though. So. All right, you want to go um, again? Okay. Yeah, we'll 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 do this one. We'll do like a we'll do like, a, like we'll do best of ones, but we'll do like a best of three of best of ones if that makes sense. You know what I mean? For each deck and we'll see how it goes and then we'll then we can do like there you go we'll switch you know i get you we'll, we'll we'll go to the next deck and we could do that for like two or three decks you know once we have enough we uh, can try a different we can yeah we try a different deck after this mm -hmm. you're, yeah you're like yeah after i whoop your ass again we can we can switch back sure i know we're both got we're on a time clock for both of us yeah oh damn all right can I do this now? Yeah. I'm sad. There now. she is. You're gonna be sad too. 
Oh, come on. And have to be like that. All right. <laughs> it, it be like that sometimes, man. Do be like that. <clears throat> Hey, Jay, check out my updated stream title. <clears throat> Thank you, Buster, with your mom. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're going you're gonna to get fan. You're going to get termed the service out. <laughs> then I die a man. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, it's, it's about to. Life's about to come at me fast. Um, all right. How do we avoid dying here? Yeah, you see that you see the pods are getting ready to drop. Yeah, I don't like those this. drop pods are building up. All right. Let me kill this guy before he starts doing stuff. Then let me just let me just do this. Let me actually hit you. All right. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Nice. And damage in one turn. Can't block any. Love it. Or just. That's the thing. You just never know when they're going to drop. I can just hold them in reserve <laughs> until I need them. Yeah. Oof. Killed my butchussy. <laughs> oh my If I'm dead though. Oh no, they come in tap. I think you st you still die. Yeah, they yeah. come. Yeah, they come in tap, but you got two ministers. So you got to double block the. You got me oh, by uh, one. But, then, point. but yeah, I, I I get through by one. Oh man, I thought I was gonna kill you with I the battalion, block. but okay, okay, all right, man. We'll yeah. go. We'll go to number three then. Okay. Oh, no, man. The Phyrexian sensor, man. <laughs> yeah. That was good. Good ones. Good games, though. Yeah. All right. This is number three for that deck, and then we'll switch. For the for the, the marbles. The Incubussy versus the Drainussy. How, how long have we been running for? Eh, maybe like 35 minutes. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> Incubusy versus Ayarusi. The Ayarusi. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> hmm. All right. I shouldn't keep this, but I'm keeping it. <laughs> wow. What a good start. The fact that Norn's Inquisitor is an uncommon is not fair, I think. Oh, yeah. Brutal. It's a little ridiculous.
Wow. <laughs> okay, this helps a little bit. Yeah, they're saying the, the power level in the set's insane, and I'm I'm inclined to agree. That's fine. Oh, the power levels up, 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 up. Off the charts. Like I said, too. when I came in casually, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll play some. I'll just play some casual magic. People were mm -hmm. kicking the shit out of me. Yeah. I had a feeling you were going to do that. Mm hmm. I was just a waiting. All right. Well, I think my deck really wants me to do this. Let me see. Deck really wants me to play Ayara. I'm going to play Ayara. <clears throat> Buff them again, yeah. Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> I feel like this would be a halfway decent budget deck too, wouldn't it? A lot of powerful uncommons and commons. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, it's not that it's not that bad to play. Kind of like how like poison is pretty lit. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. That's a convoking I removal. I see you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit you with one of these. Come on. Oof. <laughs> we're going to do... Not the furnace queen. We're going to do one of these. Did you find out how she died in lore? Oh, God damn it. No, I didn't actually. Sadly, that exiles, though. I wish it didn't exile. It would be, be a lot cooler if it did She didn't. got lured off of a cliff with a love book. Huh. That's it. You're going to kill me this turn? Punishment. Can you can you not? <laughs> can you not? That's I mean, that's 18 right there. I I think... I mean, I'm just going to block like this, and then I, I know I die still anyway, so... I was going to do cool stuff, man. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Bussy. It is. That was pretty oh, legit. I'm sorry. I should have let you. I should have let you pop off. <laughs> it's okay. No, it's... <laughs> um, you, you, you had sorry. you had the kill. I you had the kill. You it's I know all it's good. early access. We're not playing for. <laughs> hey, I will say nobody counterspelled me. I, thought, I mean, I'm... I'm always scared that I'm going to get hit with a white. Yeah. Can I, can I tell you something? I won't say who it was. Uh-huh. Okay. When I played Early Access, I played somebody who played a Azorius Control with oh, all old cards. The only thing they added was Ginger Text. <laughs> Which is like the worst thing to add. Yeah, that's it. That's the only that's the <laughs> only card that they added in the whole. They added like two Ginger Texts and just played. You'll have to message me who they it was. They were not interested in trying anything else out. They said, listen, this is my lane. This is that Gandalf lane. Um, all right, I'm going to go with a weaker deck. You know, <clears throat> I'll give okay. you a chance. <clears throat> oh, thanks. I'm going to go with a stronger deck, <laughs> which is the mono black Rexian deck I made. There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me, give me the mono black man. Okay, we're, we're, I'm going to show you guys the best mono black deck with the new cards. It's I think all the creatures are Phyrexians, too. I'm going red dragons. Okay. Like, yep, good to me.
You gotta play with fire. Yes. <laughs> How did I know? <clears throat> okay. You gotta cut down? Surprisingly not, actually. Gix? Uh-huh. All Phyrexians, man. Ooh, I don't like that. That's, that's pretty cool. By the way, I found out cannot do damage to itself. Good to know. Any other target. Yes, any other. Yeah. So I guess you do damage to it like that and then get a dragon and then you flip your egg eventually too. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Yes. No, not the invo cussy. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I'm trying Man, I'm to not draw any new cards in here, Matt. I'm trying to draw a new card, I promise. <laughs> I'm even losing life over it. I'm, I promise I'm trying. <laughs> sure. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, sure you are. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Wait, what? What? Damn, that didn't, that didn't work the way I wanted. <laughs> I fucked it up. <laughs> Damn. I did have lethal on board. I had to I had to convoke it, and I, I wasn't thinking it's going to tap when it convoked. Oh, and then yeah. you wanted to attack well, and do two damage to it. The, the dragon yeah. does two damage when I attacked. And yeah. I said I can do four and then two, but I can't vote. So, yeah. Damn. All right. <laughs> we'll try it again. I promise I have Butcher in here. Uh, the new Shouldred. There's something else. Um... There's something else I run that's a new part. Oh, I, I run the new uh, uh, Invasion of Fiora as well. Sure you do. <laughs> and I kept the two lander. So mm -hmm. you might just... Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, I kept the two lander too. Uh, listen. Yeah, but your mono red is very different. Right now, is what it is. Vastly different. I'm mid range. I'm mono red mid range, man. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm okay. not a cheap boy. Okay, I see you. Oh man, I wish I would have had him. Right. Let's do this. Ooh. Mind if I do? Go just see. Nice to draw a land, though. Let's see if you can. Oh, man. <laughs> Just when it was getting good. That means I probably don't block because if you cast one spell, if I block, I'm killing it. Okay. Hmm. I have to give you that. <laughs> Basically, anytime you cast a spell, it's like four damage based, which is pretty lit. Yes. <clears throat> pretty good. Yes, good combo. But it, getting hit in the face does hurt, though. Risky, man. <clears throat> Am I dead?
Oh no, you're not dead yet. I just want you to know that I have lethal um, by casting Invoke Despair, but Grafted Butcher and Invasion of Fiora are in my hand. Okay. <laughs> I just want you to know. <laughs> 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 oh, you can't say I didn't, you know, I didn't try. To use, uh, it's just that's how I win right there is invoke. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah. He's been telling me all. Okay. He's just been telling me. Yeah. No, I got all kind of new stuff in here. It's early access. Early access. Deck, let me tell you. Oh, you should see all the new stuff I have in my hand. <laughs> hey, I added the cards that I put in my top five that I thought were good enough. You wouldn't believe, oh, my hand was totally new. <laughs> All new shit in my <laughs> hand, man. All new shit. <laughs> All right. Do you have, did you have like a, like a, well, I know you just played yeah, mono absolutely. red. No, Wes, well, yeah, we believe. <laughs> um, I know you just did mono red. I have that. I have um, Azorius Knights. I, I mean, listen, I got every day. Okay. Okay. Let's do, let's do one more. Um, Let's do... The Azorius Knights versus um, my Gruel Power Stone. <clears throat> Sounds good. Cool. And I'm going to try to flip a Pelucranos and a Atali on. This one is called Norn's Knights. <clears throat> I like that. I didn't name any of mine. You know, I'm, I'm on that new deck, new deck two, new deck three. Should give you a I'm hint. On I'm on that file. Okay. You're actually going to like the one card that I play. The J Villain class. Oh, my game crashed. Oh, shit. I got to reboot. Here we go. I'm back in. Hey, thanks, Derm. Glad you like them. They said my my decks are named Incubusy one through ten. <laughs> I think I want to do it. Incubusy. <clears throat> Maybe I can get a <clears throat> So we're gonna go. Actually, we're gonna do it. <clears throat> Power Stone Treasure. Ooh, free free. Nice cascade. Like that? Pretty cool, right? Oh damn, wasn't that supposed to is it only once per turn? Oh, okay, never mind. There's the card that Jay liked. Very nice. Riveteers. <laughs> Sir. Yo, what's up, Benny? Yeah, man, we're going strong tonight. We got a we got a long stream. Let me get a land. Let me get that land. Ah. Okay. I'll I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Is this, is this the power stone? Yeah. Ooh. What are we doing with that? Oh, come on, dude. No. Oh, yeah. I see I see what you're trying to do here. Stop it. I see what you're trying to do here, yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> damn it. God damn it, Bobby. Alright. Better keep better keep those power stones up, man. Yeah, I know. Better keep power stone you and power stone the hell out of that thing. So I just gotta let you fucking do this. What is 
Jesus. I can't let you have that flip. I guess this thing's got to block the other. <laughs> it's a good flip. Static net. Hey, that was that was my uh, that was one of my top five cards, man. Was it? See, yeah, you were. You was right. All right, let's do this. And we got treasure. Obacon. Okay, now they both have death touch, which is obviously something that is good. <laughs> There's our boy. Uh, let's just gain one. He's probably not black. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now I can cast the Tali. It's gonna be a hell of a time until I can. Or no, I actually can't. I need one more treasure. Oh, stop it! Why? Why is that in your deck? Do I have to work during the day or during the game Saturday at one or I'm, uh, Benny? I'm able to watch it. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna be off Saturday. I can only block this. What are you coming at me with the one one? Yeah. I can only block the one more. Oh wait, no. I mean, I have reach, but I I do not want to. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Yeah, bro. Yeah, we're ready to watch Sixers game. Yeah, what's up, Christmas? How you doing, bro? I guess give me that treasure. Yeah, I definitely need that treasure. What do you got? What do you got off the top, bro? Oh, look who it is. Oh, look who it is. Uh, let me get that power stone. Let me gain that life. Let me... Buff those guys. Let me get that back up. Let me. He doesn't have haste, does he? That's important. Um. Why do Why don't these guys have death touch anymore? Because I no. didn't. Hmm. Kind of wish they did, but okay. All right. I mean, three what is it? More, first you have to three or more artifacts. Oh, I used all my artifact. That's what I did. Oh, there we go. Now, now, now they got it. Do the dome. I think these decks that we have here are pretty interesting. I would say, I would venture. Oh God. Oh my dear goodness. <clears throat> okay. You're going to do all that. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to lose some life here, basically. Okay. I understand. Nice. <laughs> um... All right, so you're gonna go here, you're gonna go here, and you're gonna go here, and you're gonna go here. And I'm gonna lose like a bunch of life, but I'm gonna gain. <clears throat> oh yeah, also that. I can actually pay it with my power stone. There's that. That's about it. Now how tapped out are you? Six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just going. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot that transforms. 
Mm. Son of a bitch. Um, I'm just right, so I'm just see. going for it. <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, yeah, that would yeah. Be... That, 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 that's a good point, oh, McCoy. Yeah, it's like a better storm the festival. Yeah, I mean you'll get like five poison counters. Uh, eight and five is thirteen, twenty-four. 24, 26, and minus 11. Is 15. I don't know. Let's figure it out. Let's, got, let's let God sort it out. Does he have... No. Yeah. It looks like God sorted out. <laughs> oh, you might be able to kill me. Maybe? No. I am taking some serious damage. Oh, I might be dead now. Yep. Oh, no. Nope. God one. damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. So what happens now? <laughs> um, I play the Olvenwald Oddity. Or do I just... Oh, I can't flip Pelucranos because I can't pay two life. I haven't the two life to pay. I think I want a treasure token. And I think I wanna you're, do that. You're gonna and you're gonna you're gonna trample over for too much anyways. You think so? Okay. Whew. Got lucky. Got lucky. Son of a bit by one fucking point. <laughs> I got yeah, that was super clutch. Lucky bastard. <laughs> All right, we'll finish the best of three here. We'll probably wrap it up after that. Well, that was fun. Let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's, after this one, let's do another one and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, definitely enjoying these new cards. <laughs> I think we both made some cool decks too. Oh yeah, you know? they're fun. Not to shoot our horns, but we, can't, we know what we're doing sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Ben, I, I hope the Sixers make it past the first round. Alright, I think I have this sequence proper. Oh, the Mishra Avatar? Yeah, I do like that. I, I didn't really change my avatar today. I probably should have. <clears throat> Oh, you're, you're gonna like this little, this little thing I do next. Thing. Oh, I'm gonna like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Damn. Pretty cool, right? Look at the creature you get for two mana. That's pretty that's pretty legit.
Might be overextending. <clears throat> I missed my mana drop, son of a bitch. Damn. Okay. Mamma mia. I missed two mana drops. Y'all ready yeah, for this? I'm mana, I'm, nah, nah, I'm nah, mana nah. screwed. Nah, nah, nah. What fun cards do you have for me, Jay? Oh. Yep. No, I, I missed two drops, dude. No way That's I got tough. anything. That's tough. We can we can run it back if you want. Uh what No I'd say well, we're well we're just about nah, it's fair and square, man. Eh, okay. Fair and square. All right, I really all should right. put more mana in it. <laughs> Are you under twenty four? I'm at 24, but apparently this thing is a thirsty bitch. <laughs> Fair enough. Do this. Just to, just to get everything out. If I still... I'm going to do this now. <clears throat> Pretty good board state on turn 5 and 6, huh? I would I would say so. <laughs> <Beautiful. clears throat> yeah, Tali's really good if you can actually resolve them and keep them on the board. That's the best card. All right. Well, we did it. Look at us. Not bad, not bad. It is the early access. We did early access. It has happened. We finally got in there. Yeah, I had a really, uh, yeah, a really fun stream tonight. Great. I'm happy. How are you feeling about it? Final thoughts. <clears throat> Final thoughts. Uh, I had fun with every deck that I played, and I feel like that hasn't happened in a while in Magic, so I'm definitely excited for this. Um, thanks, McCool. Take care, man. Um, and thanks, Flyman. Glad you like it. Um, but yeah, yeah, this looks great. Um, good games, great interactions. Um, and yeah, we're just going to keep trying to make this shit better, <laughs> you know? Maybe next week, Jay and I will have our absolutely, our yeah, best uh, mono it's, it's, black. Looks deck. like power levels are up, looks like it's going to yeah. be very fun. Hello? You there? You still there? My bad. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. I can hear you. <clears throat> oh, okay. There we go. Cool. All right. Well, we'll call this episode of the Black Council to the close. We got a little early access for the patrons and everyone else and uh, got a little bit of first look into it. Beautiful. Absolutely. I'm going to start my stream. You will keep on doing, and I will catch you on the flip side. The numbest of skulls. Oh, yeah. Keep I guess we're going to raid into Jay, guys. Take care. 
Adios, everyone. Bye-bye.